the new Trestle space, um, and this is going to be where Trestle Contemporary Art Gallery is. So let's go check it out. Third Avenue and 30th Street. It's locked. I just locked myself out. Car karaoke. Car karaoke. trim, extension cord, um, floodlights, doorstop, so many amazing things to get. Head into Lowe's, this is where I often go for um, gallery and studio supplies. Um, nice automatic doors, I love automatic doors. Here we go. It's Christmas in Lowe's. Okay, this is Dan Gratz's studio we're coming to in Sunset Park. We're choosing a piece for the Plus One show, which is going to be the first show at the Trestle Contemporary Art Gallery. Tell us a little bit about these pieces? Well, they generally start with um, an image that I'll take of a landscape. Sometimes they're from, they come from other formations, artificial or uh, natural cloud formations or clouds that I'll make in a tank. And then the images are conflated at times and then, <clears throat> and then they become the source material for the paintings. Um, and these are all oil on canvas, right? Uh, right. What kind of medium are you using? Uh, mixture of poppy oil and sand oil. Uh, the poppy oil is nice because it keeps it wet for a long time. Um, and they're all painted wet into wet. So for the whole process, it never gets dry until I'm done. Um, okay, so these are Dan Kratz's paintings. And they're really luscious and beautiful, um, especially in person. And you can see there's, as he was saying before, a lot of wet on wet brushwork. Um, it creates these super subtle blends and color relationships. So what's interesting about these is that, you know, sunsets and um, sunrises and kind of uh, majestic, colorful landscapes have a history and tradition, especially in the New York region. Um, but he's moving these to be even more um, kind of like formal, minimalist, uh, and especially this series here, moving towards a more graphic, um, bigger ground relationship. You almost lose the reference, but it's still there. Okay, thanks so much. Sure, thank you. On my way to studio, and then to go to Trestle Contemporary Art Gallery in Sunset Park. And I'm listening to Iron and Wine, Teeth in the Grass, um, the song is Cinders and Smoke right now. Here we are at Trestle. Rebecca, <laughs> Rebecca Murtag. <laughs> this is Rhea for Black. This is Christina Kelly and her plus one over here. Wow, look at these beauties. Rob Daoud and her plus one. Candy and a filling all in one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Here we go. Jim Osmond's piece. Um, yeah, so this is a new space. It's gorgeous. High ceilings. It's just open this month. There's some more pieces. So the opening is on Friday. Here's Clarity Haynes' work and her plus one. Um, Carol painting all these gems. Erica Ross, fantastic sculpture and piece. Her plus one. So let's see, 
is there more over here? Yes. Oh. Melissa's. Very nice. Very nice. I haven't seen it. In, I haven't seen it installed, so this is a treat for me too. Um, and we haven't even entered the main gallery. Here we go. Hi, Mia. Hi. <laughs> Here's some work. Here, this is Ria and Mary Negro. Very nice, very Ready? nice. Here is the other part of the porcelain show, organized by Melissa Steiger. And she's fantastic. Here's like, some work by Jason Kajoka. Here's my piece. This piece is called Sharp Edges, Soft Flowers. I'm really interested in sort of um, geometric form and organic form combined together. Um, often we see them as sort of diametrically opposed, but I'm interested in how they're related both ideologically and formally. Sharp Edges, Soft Flowers. creating um, texture and then drawing into it. And Jess's work. So yeah, this is a fantastic show. Hope you guys can come check it out. The opening is Friday, November 18th. Um, Central Contemporary Art Gallery. Our new space in Sunset Park. I just wanted to say uh, a shout out to one of my first subscribers, John Carter. Thank you for having faith in this vlog. Alright, that's it.